Tana Mojo, for me, is almost this slippery slope, you know. You react to one podcast that she's done with Megan Trainer, and then you start to get recommended more things and then you see that she was at the Steamies, aptly named because she was steaming drunk. Somehow H3 thought it would be a good idea for her to co-host and apparently it was a little bit of a disaster. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to react to that. But, oh, it's conflicting, you know, because on my main channel, I stopped doing this type of content a while ago because I felt like I was getting almost TMZ about it. Oh my God, look, there's an article about Shane Dawson. He's wiped his ass today. Oh, let's do a video about it. And after a while, it's all fun for a while, but then after a while, it makes you feel a certain way, a certain way about yourself and your content. So I switched up completely. But this is the third channel where I can do what I want. But with that in mind, I don't want to be milking Tana Mojo, but I kind of can't help it because she's always getting up to no good. And I just find it fascinating in a parasocial type of way. You know, it doesn't mean I'm going to start being like, oh my God, look what Shane Dawson's done. But there is something interesting about this almost phenomena. Right. So forgive me for going back on my word a little bit re-drama content, but here we are, whatever. I don't know how many of you guys know, but a few years ago, I wrote my own erotica, parodica, Piers Morgan's Vegan Lover. It's available on Kindle via Amazon. It's 99p. I'd really appreciate it if this Christmas, you know, I am doing my other one at the moment, but in case that doesn't come out in time, check this out, give it a purchase. It's about Piers Morgan and his vegan lover. So what's there not to love about it? It is only 99p because that's how much a sausage roll from Greg's used to be. So I would love it if you could purchase it and up my Amazon rating and go ahead and give me a rating on Goodreads. I just really want my silly little story to be an Amazon bestseller and almost entire four years after I first published it. I can't believe I did this four years ago and I didn't do anything since, but don't worry, I am working on something right now, but in case that doesn't come out, check out Piers Morgan's Vegan Lover, available on Kindle and Amazon for 99p. So as I said, H3H3 had an award show they put on called The Steamies and it looks like they were working towards this for a few months. They had a theater, like 5,000 seat capacity. They had a whole show planned. And yes, they thought it'd be a good idea for Tana Mojo to co-host. Here's the thing. When she stays sober, she's very good and naturally funny and good at what she does when she stays sober. Me with the water and the whiskey glass. But she just can't help this self-destructiveness about herself. So without further ado, let's just watch it and see what everyone was yelling about. <laughs> bit rude that they didn't ask me to co-host. I know I have slagged Ethan Klein off quite a lot in the past, but still, maybe I'll be moving around a lot. So I'm sure I just missed my invite and it's at my old flat that is now vacated. I'm sure that's all it is. I mean, Maybe they don't want me to co-host or present, that's one thing, sure, but not even a VIP ticket. Not even not even VIP actually, not even just a standard ticket for free, gifted, hashtag. It's just I feel so left out sometimes. I, I don't know why. It's not like I have a habit of burning bridges and being mean about everyone on this platform. I just don't get why I'm just perpetually left out, always outside the window, looking in, watching people eat their dinners. It's not on. Who is that girl hyping up? Like, calm down, you're at a show. What is up, everybody? How you doing, Elon? Good. <laughs> show off, show off. <laughs> Give them a twirl for, for pizza's sake. You know, so show good off, to Congratulations, Healer, on your new pregnancy. Can I get an invite or a gig at your next show? I was just nice then, so I don't see why not. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, side note, let's just like go off on a tangent before we've even begun. Side note, I found a channel recently called Mr. Mythos and I'm obsessed, I'm amazed, I'm enraptured. Like my ADHD attention span, I'm, I'm less than two minutes into this stream, it's Stevie's videos and already I'm talking about something else, right? But my attention span, I am engaged when I'm watching his content and it's like all of these... uh fun like the fun conspiracy theories you know about inner earth and hollow earth and that type of thing he has this whole series of them and he presents the information accurately i was gonna say factually accurately you know he heavily researches and it just it's it's good it's like you're watching something on the blaze channel or whatnot and he doesn't say whether he believes it or not he's just like it's just a bit of fun so i've been sending I've been sending one of his videos, US Expedition to an Inner Earth Kingdom, uh, to all of my nearest and dearest being like, you've got to watch this. Because I've watched like several of the videos in the series now. And I mean, I've been saying the whole Earth was hollow, Earth is hollow thing since I was 15 and I first read it on a certain forum that shall not be the David Icke forums that shall not be named. I've been saying it for a long time, but I would just kind of say it because I thought it was funny as a bit of a meme. But unironically, I now believe that the earth actually is hollow and there's tunnels <laughs> as a way of accessing the inner earth. So I've been sending it to everyone and I just got a message saying, what is this crying emoji? <laughs> Someone banned me from online. Anyway, like, let's get back to this. We have some special co-hosts that will be joining us here today. So with that being said, <laughs> Jeff Witten, <laughs> Tana, and Logan Paul. <laughs> it's the way that there was a picture of this on Instagram and I was showing my boyfriend and I was being like, is, is Logan Paul okay? What's happened to him? He doesn't look very well. <laughs> she looks good though. Everybody's favorite. Uh, it's practically tradition at this point, but. I'm ruining my career today. That's right. You can say that again. Not really. She's like a cockroach. She's never going to go away. And I'm allowed to say that because she says that. Okay. I'm not being offensive. Oh, I'm, they love I'm you, Tana. I'm getting so beyond cancelled tonight. I'm going to kill myself in front of all of you. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. If I can say that anywhere, yeah, I can say it. You should not say that next to Logan. Hey, guys, it. let's not make any suicide jokes today, okay? here's the thing i've been a long time watcher of tana and sober she's very quick she's very quick-witted underratedly so i will say that because all of her controversies overshadow her wit but when she's drunk she's just obnoxious and can't and is incapable of reading a room oh jeff he made a dark joke then but it was funny and it could have like brought it back a bit but now i know that she's just going to start yelling Oh, right. fuck. Be, please. I forgot about the forest. He, 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 why, is she make, why is she making that face? <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. You need to get some more Botox if you can make that face. I'm sorry, Tyler. <laughs> From one Botox to another. Yeah. I'm definitely getting kicked off impulsive after this. Yeah. <laughs> the silence is deafening from that crowd. Mike was supposed to be here, by the way, but I think Logan pulled the plug on that. Thank God Mike Malek wasn't there. I'm sorry. No, I'm not even sorry. I cannot stand him. I've never been able to stand him. His raspy voice, first of all. His raspy voice and FaZe Bank's raspy voices are my, like, nightmare blunt rotation. And he's really shown... I mean, I always had him clocked anyway. You know, he was hanging on to Logan Paul for dear life to get some relevancy and then he dates lana rhodes and makes a fool out of her i hate that i know so much about these people and yet i can't remember all the philosophy stuff that i've been revising <laughs> anyway mike may like shown us true colors recently there's hanging around with bad influences for clout that's one thing then there's hanging out with criminals for clout like active Whatever, I'm not even going to get into it because I don't want to be murdered. And who would have thought that I showed up and Mike would have been? Even something as simple as that, she's she's very incapable of not having the not relating everything back to herself. Even that, who would have thought Mike Malak wouldn't show up, but I would have showed up. It was just she does that about everything. It's just it's a quirk of hers at this stage. Narcissism, a quirk. Young Zachariah, where's Zachariah? No offense, that Logan Paul impersonator is like my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> is that offensive? I don't know. Hey. 
like, oh, it's lovely to watch. Wish I could have been there. As if I would get on a plane to go see this in the first place. You'd have to get me going over to LA by boat. Who did you have to sacrifice to sell out the Dolby Theater? The Oscars Everything. and the Grammys are held here. I know that, I know. And like, here we are. The as we should, as the we should. The streams. I am sitting in the same spot Chris Rock got slapped in. Uh, I, we're not supposed to say that. No, and if, and if you were your brother, I'd be they getting slapped us. in this spot. See, I mean, it's relevant, but you know. They told, they told us so. no. Sorry. The silences after Tana says stuff. Oh, I can't. I just feel bad for her. Talk about the Will Smith situation was the one rule you gave me, but you didn't tell me anything else. Jeff, you hit me last night. Mm. Let's just get right into it. Let's get right in with our first category. <laughs> What are, what are they doing with their hands? I don't understand. Is it a new thing? I've not heard of this if it's a new thing. Someone tell me. Keep me informed. I thought this might be a replacement for clapping, but then I just saw the same people who were doing this clapping just then. So now I'm just confused. I prepared a few words uh, in between panic attacks tonight, so. Take a Xanax. What? <laughs> Tana, maybe stop taking Xanax, please. You know it's really dangerous if you mix, mix that stuff with alcohol, which I know she's doing. I'm just concerned for her. In between the making fun of, I am also concerned. <laughs> what is that screaming? It sounds like there's a zombie apocalypse and someone's getting eaten alive. Could you imagine? I would constantly be freaked out if I was around that type of screaming just in my mere presence. New developments of the Titan submersible. All five people were killed. Did people just cheer at that? Oh god. Starfield pronoun outrage. Fucking pronouns! Gender ambiguity! Comes gender ambiguity! What is everyone's deal? Good lord. Current day Californian shit! Imagine you're an alien in your UFO, you know, just doing a little tour of our solar system and you're like oh there's the sun soul i'm gonna just fly by and you pick up some frequencies and it comes from a little blue planet called earth and you're like oh i wonder what the earthlings are up to and you click on it and you see this guy being like rocking brown rounds california you would lock the doors on your ufo and fly off to like centauri alpha uh not me just fact checking that we aren't actually centauri alpha nope 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 that was a scientifically accurate joke. No, no, no! Current day! It's your everything! Everything! everything. You really get your point across well when you're so mad that you're spitting at me through a computer screen. Wow, I'm so on board with everything you're saying. Who is that bold man? Why is he so mad? Who shat in his cornflakes? Freaks mad at Mr. Beast. <laughs> The bold man yelling should have won it actually because Freak's mad at Mr. Beast and the bold man yelling, they're essentially yelling about the same thing, but the bold man is way more unhinged. He should have won. I'm gonna read off the, the percentage here. I'm not is kidding, Mr. Beast I was here? thinking about my nail color. Like I fully disassociated. Okay, thank you for that one. Should I get pink or blue nails next? Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> She couldn't deal with the attention being off her for more than two minutes. Relatable. Hon honestly, relatable. Sometimes when I go to watch shows, you know, like just any, if I'm in an audience, I do start to disassociate and think, wow, I'd be good up there on the stage. But do I do anything to work towards that goal? Absolutely not. I don't know just, why What do you cares. guys think? Are these surprising results? <laughs> Whoa. I just disassociated then and just started thinking, wow. I'd be better on this stage. <laughs> like they're not really giving, not Ethan and Hilo, it's their thing, but the other three aren't really giving much, are they? Lena and it's not the plug, baby. She can't allow anyone else have their moment without her interjecting somehow. So admittedly, I don't really know who these two people are, but I know that they're married and I know that they're quite traditional. I don't know, uh, I'm gonna look now. So they're both Muslim and they have a traditional marriage. I think like their traditional parents are there or something like that. That's all people saying this, right? So is it appropriate to be referencing someone who does porn to traditional people with 
I would like guess tradition more traditional values. I'm not sure. It's a bit like hmm. Hmm. Maybe this should have been the biggest cringe moment. Lena and there's no Adam in sight. We heard the joke the first time and it wasn't that funny, babe. You don't need to like rehash it and try again. Lena looks great. Well, thank you. <laughs> have sex. Have sex. Again, is it appropriate? Does she know these people? Does she know if they'd be up for that sort of banter? Because some people are up for it and some people aren't. And you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable whilst they're presenting something. Like, and the thing is, when it comes to Tana Mojo, I swear no one coddles her more than her own audience. They will give an excuse for anything. They'll be like, maybe she was just nervous and that's why she got really drunk beforehand and possibly took a Xanax. But she's not a baby. She's not a child. She's like, I'm not going to infantilize her because I'm going to show her some respect as a 25 year old woman. Do you understand what I'm getting at? She's been doing this since she was basically 15 to 17, YouTube. She's done on stage things. She goes on tour with her podcast. Uh, she will complain about other people's kind of etiquette. And yet she's not displaying the same grace that she would expect from others. You know, you know what I mean? And she's not going to improve if she's continuously coddled because her core audience who are ride, ride or dies for her are always like, well, she's just going for a difficult time right now. There's always some kind of excuse for her behavior and it is enabling. After a certain point, it just becomes enabling. And I want her to do better for herself. So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, there, there. I think she was having boy trouble that night and that's why she was being obnoxious during the show. No, this is a show that someone else has put on that they've spent a lot of time and money on and she's just desperately trying to get attention every two seconds and it's not acceptable. It's not good. She has so many opportunities. She gets given so many more opportunities than like the average influencer i swear and always fumbles it she's her own worst enemy and i want her to do better i don't want genuinely legitimately i don't want her to end up in serious trouble let's say i want her to clean up her act a little bit because when she is sober she's a lot better like as soon as she starts drinking again she turns a bit mean i've noticed that on her podcast anyway i'm waiting i'd watch the tape 10 times more than lena the plug is it necessary? Is it entertaining? Is it appropriate? Um, my mom is here somewhere, but I can't find her. Mom, where are you at? My mom is here somewhere, but I can't. I wonder if that girl is fake laughing. Because what else can you do in that situation? Dream has officially redonned his favorite mask after removing it in a face reveal last year. Internet culture is very strange, isn't it? He is again. Oh, he's crying in the corner. Is that the worm? Like if the worm has died. Also, why has he got his feet out? For free in this economy? Don't come after me for not knowing what a trick shot is, man. How dare you bring up the- Huh? <laughs> this all seems disproportionate. Does he have a top that says in loving memory of Pablo Escobar? How dare you bring up the worst time of my life? I'm fucking hurt. How dare you? Is he acting? What is, who are these people? What's that behind the sofa? What is going on? I hate the internet. Why is the internet my job? I'm embarrassed. I need to get a different job. Boogie 2988's job interview. Tell me a little bit about your background. That's got a win. That's my favorite cringe moment. <laughs> yeah, I completely and utterly lost my mind. I almost shot someone. I've done sex work. In the context of a job interview, you should say these things. When you Google my name, you might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. My ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. <laughs> Sorry. I did a video reacting to the, the dot. Go watch it. People pay when they go out of the bus. So hopefully he doesn't ask me to pay. Why would you film this and put this on the internet? Who is, I don't know who this person is. I thought it was Ninja for a second. The blue hair like threw me off, but um, one idiot. He was just waiting to catch me. So the only thing I could do is to pretend that I'm sick. Huh? Who is this person? <laughs> Can anyone just be normal on the internet? Challenge impossible. Oh, yeah. And the winner is... XQC does, does the work. work. Wow. 
I feel like that's biased towards H3 on H3's show though. I feel like Boogie or that, that guy in Japan was worse. A little strong. Three of the five people in that category tried to fuck me. And I think, really? it, could be, I think it could be a fun game trying to figure out yeah, who. That is. Tana, you know that you won't spontaneously combust if you aren't constantly being validated by men's attraction to you. You can break free of that, babe. So Boogie is the first one. Boogie. <laughs> no, she's too old for Boogie. And she's not a virgin. Do you want me to guess? You're not Was the viewer at home, babe. You're in a suit on the stage. Is she already slurring? Oh, Tana, please release me from this eternal misery of having a parasocial relationship. Like, block me somehow. Can YouTube block me from watching her? Because, like, I'm just not strong enough to give up my addiction to Tana being Tana. No, okay. okay. I'm a retired real. whore. There's a lot of people that names. look like this. I'm a reformed whore. Keep that in mind. Okay. The silence. The craziest fucking shirt cannon we could buy. If I shoot someone in the front row, you will fucking die. So I'm not gonna do that. Like when Maud died in The Simpsons. So let's take a look here. Last lawsuit of the year, baby. I want to see that. That'd be content. <laughs> Don't get in a fist fight. It'll look just like TanaCon. Like, let's keep it. Let's keep it right. You know, no one can die here. Okay, we get it. You had a failed convention. You don't need to bring it up every five minutes. Like, do you want people to forget about it? Because that's not helping. We've got I a whole bunch have, of these, by the way. I can't have two live events and people almost die at. So. <laughs> Did you say it? The silence is killing me. Kidding. No one died at SantaCon. Kidding. Thank you, guys. It's a bit painful, isn't it? Should I do a live taste test of this Cafe Nero vegan cookie? It's been out for a few hours. Oh, it's not crispy. It kind of reminds me of like, in a weird way, the brownies that you used to get at um, Well, there's a hair on my chin. I can feel it. I don't like it. I hate that. Anyone in England? Anyone in England remember like primary and junior school lunches that you'd get? And they had these brownies, but they weren't really brownies. I think they were like, I don't know what they were. I think it's called like chocolate rock. Like that's the name for it. And they were so good. And this kind of tastes a bit like, a bit like that. Hmm. Anyway. Take a shot, bro. Yeah, you know, normally I like my cookies a bit crispy. This is good. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Oh shit! You shocked me, bro. An electric. Sorry. Tanya's on her phone. What's she doing? Tweeting. Why are you on your phone? Maybe you're on stage. Stop. <laughs> wow. You guys Tana, heard that one? No, Tana if I wasn't taken, should... I'd fuck him. Tana, <sighs> Tana just asked me like, if she should on. show him her tits. She wants She's to still mine. You want to show your tits? Well, no, Jeff suggested that, but he's my keeper, so. Can she Jeff's show a cuck. Can Jeff she... wants to see me show him. Can my... she... Maybe don't. Maybe not a good idea. Logan Paul, my boy. <laughs> You're a sellout, good. baby. I love bitch. Logan Paul. <laughs> Fucking sellout. Who? <laughs> Who is she talking to? Herself? What? We're not gonna talk about oh, should I kill myself? Is this the height of my career and I oh. should kill myself? Absolutely. Is that what you're asking? Is she okay? I'm worried for her. Her eyes. Oh, I just know that she's got like the worst anxiety right now. There's a man named Idubs on the internet that you've had quite a quite a journey with, frankly. That's my best friend. We just went shopping together yesterday. <laughs> I was gonna tell you what we went shopping for, but that would be something you shouldn't say on live. Bad joke. Sorry. Go ahead. What was it? It's like the hats, you know? <laughs> Kidding. Oh, dude, the silence is so loud. You all know how I feel, though. You can joke about whatever, but you have to be good at joking to joke about certain things. I know plenty of comedians who probably could have pulled off that kind of joke. I don't think Tana's one of them. The items is here. Would it be okay if you made an apology to you now? It's up if to you. you told 2017 me this was happening, she would have stopped taking drugs. <laughs> so, yes. No, this could I mean, have prevented like, he, an overdose, honestly, four years ago. Yeah. That first bit was actually <laughs> fine. Like, I joke around in that way too about a lot of things, you know. On my main channel, if I'm reading E.L. James or whatever, I'll often say, 
this is going to ruin my sobriety this is gonna if i was a character in a coho book i would start drinking again to be able to deal with it but then she kind of doubles down and milks it and then that's when it stops getting funny i mean it's an art form right also i looked at my analytics and about 60 percent of you who watch the, who watches this content aren't subscribed so make sure that you do subscribe and then you can see more of this content duh no brainer ian come come come, come on yourself. out come here see. bestie bestie ian welcome bestie. to the stage my friend oh god she just can't help herself can she if she just like kept her oh come out here bestie like that's fine but it's just she always doubles down and it's just not i'm gonna yeah. shit myself i'm gonna Shut up. <laughs> shut, like, with peace and love. Shut up. Have you guys seen each other since the uh, faded the word? That's my girly over there. Hi, girly pop. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Ian look like that lifeguard from Stranger Things? <laughs> you know, I dubs back then would bully Ian now, but that's not a bad thing. I dubs back then is outdated for today but he would totally bully ian now most of what ian's own audience bully him it's a bit like the guy can't catch a break you know he started a podcast recently i haven't watched it but he's done it with his wife anisa and the comments on instagram oh my god it's like like bro literally cannot catch a break i've never seen someone's audience turn on them like with this much intensity it's just like leave him alone his own audience like he's not going to say slurs and naughty words anymore for your entertainment leave him alone like like there's plenty of creators who still will do that go watch them instead and leave ian alone can't believe i'm saying like i can't believe in the year 2023 of our lord i'm here being like leave ian alone he's a human being like stop <laughs> being mean to him because he's not going to say bad words anymore like you could all go follow matt rife instead if you want that kind of edgy humor that that 2016 <laughs> edgy humor christ follow elon musk on twitter he's like stuck eternally in 2016 meme edgy humor tana at the beginning of the show you said something about killing yourself i think that was pretty extreme this isn't the end of you saying extreme things i think you're prone <laughs> to saying very bizarre shit that's rich interesting you're the top of my suicide note, baby. You're right there. Dear I dubs, I'm hanging now. Dare I say, if she just said you're at the top of the note, if she just left it at that, you don't have to. Ugh, it's just annoying. Dare I say that? Like that that bit would have been not fine, but funny in a dark edgy way, but you don't need to do what she's about to do. I have designed a cancellation gift basket. It explodes in my face. This is my death. You all watch it. <laughs> Why is she laughing like that too? Stop. She doesn't normally laugh like that. Normally when she laughs, she doesn't like make that much sound. Janet, did you bring a prop with you? Okay, you're spoiling some of the jokes. All right, let me, let's play the video. Please, so that's it. not, so that oh, whole no. thing isn't ruined. Oh, no. It is weird the things that we humans come up with just to entertain ourselves and others to distract us from the inevitability of our own death. In it. This will get you through a 48 hour cancellation. Spectrum. I wish Let's it was 48 say something hours. A bit more. She's making me clench. Cringe content is so fucking good. It's like a form of doing Kegels. I'm gonna be thanking all of these people in 30 years time. Up next, we have this little button button that will cut a live stream feed i think they use this they use the button to cut turner off later the next item we have is called could be worse it basically shows you that you could be carried away by a giant falcon to be ripped apart in the mountains of tibet and it's in the mountains of tibet somewhere in the himalayas that there is an ancient abandoned monastery and inside the monastery is the entrance to a tunnel which leads you to the inner earth and to the secret kingdom of Shambhala. Look it up. I don't lie him. I don't lie. I never lie on this channel. Uh oh. She's coming to give a punch. Look right into this camera with me. Uh oh. Uh oh. What else are you gonna fucking You definitely do? have higher alert. You think I have higher alert yeah. than Tana? What? She keeps saying what? Apparently they couldn't hear each other to on the stage. I'm not sure how much I believe that though. I think she's just too busy talking to other people rather than staying present in the moment. Yeah, 
Mm. That cookie was so good. Speaking of being in the moment. Mm. Logan Paul, I'd like to say some words to you if you don't mind. <laughs> Listen, um, it wasn't cool for me to make fun of your colorblindness. That's a disability, man. It just fucked up. And I... I I remember that. Do you remember when Logan Paul was pretending to see colours for the first time ever? Like, bro was like a 1940s television set before he found these magical glasses and then he was crying at a sunset or like something like that. It's fine to laugh. He was making it up. There's oh. no need to apologise. Okay? You've done nothing wrong. Oh. Someone teach the Logan Paul man to hold the microphone a bit closer to his face, please. Amateurs, man, I could do this. I've got literally zero resume or portfolio to showcase that I could do this, but you just have to take me for my word. List apology. <laughs> I watched your three part series and you have successfully used my name for views and money. Big YouTubers can't say about other big YouTubers, oh, you're addicted to clicks. Like we're on YouTube. All of us are addicted to those little numbers going up every time we do something. Logan Paul, like, especially. My toxic trait is I find Logan Paul quite entertaining in, in small quantities here and there. But it's just, it's such a fallacy of an argument. Especially coming from a dude who once did a video about, no, a song marketed at children about getting merch. You know. Mm. Colleen Ballingers. That's got to win, surely. I mean, you can at least say... I'm just playing like a... I'm just playing my fucking game right now. You can at the very least say it was very original what she did. She's got to win, 100%. The worst apology goes to... Pauline Ballinger. <laughs> she, uh, she swept the category getting 86.9%. Wow. That's amazing. Well done, Colleen. Next time I have to apologize to you, I'm getting a harp. Okay, like, let Colleen Ballinger have her moment, please, Tada. I'm gonna be like this. I'm sorry, Ian. Please don't make another content cop. Here's my harp. We get it. Shush. Put her on the naughty step, someone. Let her sober up for a bit. Someone get her a coffee. I still strongly <laughs> believe in uh, crypto zoo. Still a really good investment, I'm like, I'm me sure too. Good app, solid investment. Thanks, bro. Um... The silences are hurting me a little bit. It's painful. It's giving me a tummy ache. Tummy ache survivor. Hmm. I mean, the lawsuit is still going down. Well, because you do still owe, like, I don't know, like $2 million of restitution. Oh, he said, he's like, I'm going to give like $2 million. And he hasn't done it yet. You haven't done it yet. Now, I have no idea. I know that there's something going on regarding Logan Paul and some sort of crypto and some sort of scam. But don't these lawsuits and moving money around in America, doesn't it take a long, long time to do? But again, I have, I'm being ignorant here. I have no idea. So, yeah. By the way, crushing the draft. Um, I want to give a side note. I will give a side note. You guys need to go on the Prime subreddit for the Logan and KSI drink because it is funny. It is funny. I don't know why there's a whole subreddit of people just dedicated to hating this product. Like the official subreddit as well. It's great. Best apology, Ethan Klein. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see who won. Was that it? It was just him. Oh my god, you guys! Numbers. Ethan Klein, you guys! Oh my god! I just really, you know, I'm just so touched. There's feedback. Is that are you guys trying to tell me to, to wrap it up? Why is this so chaotic? It's quite messy. Nothing makes my dick hard like Logan Paul cleaning my. Nothing toilet. gets his dick hard. He heard it. You guys heard it. All right, so. Fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Get on with it. It's too much. You guys might recall a special video on YouTube. A little video of a nice, sweet guy nearing his butthole. <laughs> Coolest Kev, where are you? So nice to meet you. I love that this bro this dude just had his butt fully out and he was putting nair on it and you could see his asshole. Yes, I looked it up. Of course I did. I'm only human. Yet if you swear a little too much, you get in trouble. Where are the priorities, YouTube? Swearing, curse words, bad. Open cheeked butthole good i love that people like watch me near my ass it's not age restricted right no it is oh it yeah but like somehow like miners found it they found you yeah great well actually since you're a pro at nearing obviously we can't show butthole but we yeah. can show belly hole Why is his belly button 
Is it just because it's so hairy or is it dirty? I can't deal with this. I'm going to look at my game. Oh, Ethan. Would it have killed you just to wash your bloody belly button before doing this? No, I'm actually really upset by this. I don't, I just know that he smells because of his belly button. How did I put this back on after taking like an hour and a half long break? Ooh, a long break and I've immediately got a headache. Go ahead and present the next award for unhinged creator, Louis Sanderson. Oh my, I love that guy. <laughs> the one who pretends that his kid is drowning and he fights like a whole Takeshi's castle to get to him. And they, yeah, I love this guy. He's crazy. <laughs> That poor kid. No pain, Lorraine. Chiropractor. Oh, yeah. Gonna kill her. Now lick it. And you can see the rest on Tana Uncensored for only $9.99 a month. No, no. That's the second time she said that joke. Tana, how did you even request beverage, uh, alcoholic beverage? <laughs> For people that were wondering, because people were saying, why was the H3 team giving Tana more alcohol? I don't know if they do later on, and I don't intend to watch this entire thing, because I've heard that after 90 minutes, it really quietens down, because maybe, like, the drugs or the booze wear off a bit. That was her assistant doing that, so... Which must be difficult if you're an assistant and a friend of Tana Mojo. Must be difficult, because you can't say no to her, because you'll get fired. But this clearly isn't in her best interest to be drinking during the show, so... Thank you guys so much for being here. Everybody that dressed up, you're looking really good. You guys look phenomenal, <laughs> and I love it. I have nice dresses. They could have invited me, VIP, paid for everything, paid for a boat to charter me across the ocean to New York, and then paid for my train from New York to LA to have me at the show. But they didn't. I see where their priorities lie. Not on me. Not impressed. So we have um, a special category. It's called the Where Are the Police Award. Let's Can roll the video and then we'll discuss. Can we cut to a at David Dobrik's house or no? What? Just like where are the police, you know? Jokes are really funny when you have to explain them. Oh, Cody coming out? Oh, fuck. Look, fresh out of prison <laughs> and he wants to go back. <laughs> oh, I like you as my friend way more, man. Trust me. So that guy went to H3H3's house and I'm assuming it wasn't a bit, it was, it was a an, an incident. So they'll have someone who stalks them in real life but they won't have me? It's just offensive. It's like the fucking Terminator, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only gun he's ever legally shot, everyone. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's the only legal gun he's ever shot. We heard you say that the first time, babe. Yeah. My yeah. favorite thing about tonight is Hila just being dead silent. Thank like, you. She's protecting her peace. That's my special She's thing. protecting the baby's peace. <laughs> she's just a quiet person. Oh, stand up. Can you, just, can you just show the audience how hot you look one time? <laughs> Check this one out. No, Ready? No, no stop it. <laughs> what is I will happening? get on my knees and bow down to Hila any day. I think the shot just hit her. Let's roll it with uh, Where Are The Police? The Where Are The Police Award. Jack Darty's bodyguard punches guy in face. Hey, no, whoa, just stop. Tone, stop. Wow. Wow. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is that illegal? What the fuck is that? Security. <laughs> She's doing a little gag. Yeah, so for everyone being like, she was just drunk because she was nervous or whatever, taking a t-shirt that says I love a Trisha Paytas onto h Free's show is premeditated. And it could be, it could be a bit of a funny bit if she didn't do what's coming next. I want Frenemy's back! <laughs> I don't, I don't, Can I don't want Frenemy's back. Jeff, Jeff is so happy it's over. Can you fucking... Jeff doesn't look very happy, does he? She's so loud and obnoxious. Mm. Imagine Trisha I'm, Paytas was on this stage right now. Yeah. But I'll, I'll say this, I'm very happy uh, that she has a beautiful daughter and she's pregnant again. I wish her all the best. With her. I'm the godmother. I'm the godmother of the new son or daughter. I don't know. And this is where it goes over the line because uh, for a lot of people, it's like petty internet drama. But Gila 
has never met her niece. So this is where it becomes just obnoxious and insensitive and classic Tana Mojo. I'm, I'm sure maybe in that moment she didn't even think of that. She just thought, oh, how can I make it more about myself? Oh, I'm the godmother of the future baby. Maybe not exactly realizing there's people there who actually are family and actually are blood related to these children who they've never met, you know? She's just <laughs> self-obsessed. She doesn't think these things through. I'm sure the shot didn't help. You're the godmother? You have credentials? How do you prove that? Are you just saying that? What? I mean, she's obviously not. Who in their right mind would let Tata Mojo be a godmother of their children? Okay. That's true. <laughs> mm. I love you and I love Trisha and you have to possess balance. You have to possess like, let it go. Read the room, you idiot. <laughs> I say that with peace and love. Atani, you can be so ridiculous sometimes. Oh, I just froze it and Jeff looks very like they're all just uncomfortable by this behavior jeff does not look happy <laughs> like he's reading the thousand yard stare like he's like when george osborne used to go to the house of commons clearly being up all night like bags deep or whatever doing the thousand yard <laughs> but um yeah congratulations to her <laughs> and thank you tana that is a disgusting laugh tana and i know you don't laugh like that so stop it it's again clenching Thank you. Can I just please just one time get a pink and black screen back and talk some <laughs> shit? Shut up. Shut like like do the bit. Sure. Wear the t-shirt. Okay. But like the relentless going on and doubling down. This is why she can be painfully unfunny sometimes. She doesn't know when to just end the thing, end the moment, move on to the next thing. She's incapable drunk anyway i'm sure she would have a lot more self-awareness if she was sober one time she can't even sit still she's, she's like swaying in her seat someone give that girl a nap so let me ask you go down there so james charles <sighs> what is she doing why is she doing that he asked for the age and they sent him a falsified uh, id i just really want a pigmented waterline eyeliner you know I smell like, send me five. Killer. It's, like, it's, it's really, it's, it's pigmented. No one's laughing at your James Charles. Please just send me free makeup. I don't care if you're actually a nonce or not joke. No one's laughing, babe. Read the room, please. Tana, I recall last time you were on our show, you made a promise to me to denounce James Charles in all of his forms. I am very happy to be civil. I think Jeff is secretly signaling by like, grabbing her knee being like, please stop, shut up, just shut up, just shut up, you idiot. As you guys that guy's trying see. to fuck kids. It's such a hill to die on as well. Look, I know that he's trying to get with minors, but I need to be civil because some of my friends are friends with him, okay? You don't understand what it's like. It's just like, dude, pick a better, better hill to die on. Not defending James Charles, who, by the way, does not need... Well, he doesn't need you defending him, but I guess he has a lot of clout, which you can siphon, right? Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Kids, bro. Third row, third row. Can you see that my waterline is pigmented <laughs> black? They're yelling at her. They're not enjoying this joke. Stop it. But Tana, he's trying to fuck kids. They're still looking at that shirt. I'm not yeah. fucking kids. No, not you. James <laughs> Charles, he's fuck? trying to fuck kids. Right now. You need to leave. He's so Who yelled that? You need to leave. What was that? Soundbite? What was it? What do you want me to do, Ethan? Do Maybe stop getting pictures of him. I don't know. Do you denounce James Charles? Can you, can you agree that my waterline is pigmented black? I'll tell you what, I will tattoo your waterline so it's permanently pigmented if you, like, shut up recycling that, uh, joke. Yes. Your, your mascara is running? Like, no, that my wing, that my wing is very pronounced. What does that mean? Well, I'm sorry. No, I don't know what you're, I don't know what that like, means. It's, it's more so just, like, look at my waterline and my eyes black. Jeff is so unhappy. Oh, my. I feel bad for him. Those, Hold uh, on, you James fucking Charles freak. Makeup, I guess. Wait, are you using his makeup? God! Been. Are you? Is that what you're trying to say? Look, because you're you using, using terms that the guys don't know anything about. What you're, oh what my you're God! Saying? God forbid I talk to men. That's horrible. <laughs> 
<sighs> don't try and turn in it into that like god forbid a woman talks to a man shut up it firstly it's not about that secondly the instant like the connotations of that are quite strange because james charles is gay you know like god forbid a woman talks to a man i would assume that that's a bit what you're getting up getting at god forbid a woman talks to a man but james charles is gay so doesn't really work in the context that she's trying to am i thinking too hard about this but don't try and turn it into that. It's not about talking to a man. It's about, well, talking to a man who likes talking to teenagers. No, wait, where do you draw the line? Because if fucking kids are... Is, is all well, that's I like... stopped trying to fist fight him for five years. So it's good that we're okay. Be quiet, please. You wouldn't fist fight anyone. I'm so sorry. Have y'all... Okay, okay. No riot. Let's talk to the crowd. No riots. Don't turn on the crowd as well like it's not your event so don't turn on the audience she has no understanding of being on stage i guess weird no i have a question for the crowd have you ever been so angry at someone that it consumes your entire being <laughs> behave she's such a exaggerator they are not happy Oh my god, is that Joji? <laughs> you spend a lot of your life angry at that person. And it does feel good over time to be like, I don't like you, we're not gonna talk. Mm -hmm. Like, we're civil, I don't have to fist fight <laughs> you at a party. Yeah, but you're always getting pictures of him. Like, behave. <laughs> every, you know, everybody needs a friend. Like, fuck your makeup line, I hope my tour sells out and you don't sell a sale. Makeup line, I hope... If you're friends of everyone, then you just stand for nothing. But it's nice to know where Tana's morals and ethics lie. Uh, it's one thing to be friends with people who are bad and then see the error in your ways. I think we've all done that. I've said, I've, I've done that quite a few times. It was interesting. What can I say? But to, <laughs> she was calling him a pedophile for several years. She was calling him a predator and a nonce very loudly. So to say that, to state those things publicly and then go back to being civil, getting in pictures and TikToks with that person. Firstly, does James Charles have no self-respect? Clearly not. But does he have no self-respect to get into... Imagine someone was calling you a nonce, rightly or wrongly. You wouldn't get into pictures with them. None of these people have morals. It's just, it's a weird space. So actually, maybe I don't want to be invited to the steamies, h 3 h 3 if you're going to have people like this on. It's fine. I've seen the error of my ways. But anyway. You want me to say the P word, huh? No, no, no. 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 I just want you to say that you wish you perished in a fire. <laughs> That's all. I think that, so a long time ago when- Why won't she stop talking? Please, someone stop her. Trump was going against Biden. <laughs> Biden. <laughs> well, I called it. Smart, smart move crazy that they had to cut her off on their own show is that real oh no it's not logan will you denounce james charles and all of his forms if, if he's looking... deeming children like that then yeah yeah just don't We're drink prime energy civil. if you're under the age of 12. someone shut her up please she's annoying me now now I'm back to the phase in the parasocial dynamic of she's annoying me and I don't like her. I'm sure it will change in a month's time. Do you think James Charles is doing anything illegal? Yeah. Why are they still talking about James Charles? Stop! It's already dead. Put that Simpsons meme in. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead. I want okay, to announce to you trouble. guys. I'm in trouble. I, really I am know. calling on the United States Congress to enact legislation to make a DA's office that prosecutes YouTube Holy crimes. Shit. She can't pretend that she doesn't know that it is serious considering she was calling him a pedophile for several years. You can't, you can't, if you're going to play dumb, play dumb the whole time and then, you know, pretend afterwards you didn't know how serious it was. Don't like, don't play woke and then play dumb. <laughs> and we don't support it. I don't support that shit. What the fuck? I'm trying to be civil. That's yeah. right. Shut up. There are some things that you just can't be a fence sitter about and someone repeatedly being accused of grooming or manipulation or coercion by minors like several different times. You just can't really be a fence sitter about. I don't know. LA influencer culture is so strange. <sighs> 
I think Jeff has his faults, but I do think that he genuinely, as I think he's sober as well. I think he does care about her and shows concern for her. Crypto zoo, that's crazy, right? That was just straight up fraud. It was an accident. I don't believe in the concept. The underlying principle was fire, okay? Those little <laughs> eggs that you'd collect and then you'd sit on that egg for, I mean, oh my God. Tyler is not okay. It's a fun game that taught the kids of our youth how to invest properly, okay? We need right. to just learn to strategize, rethink our formula. I'm gonna kill myself. Do you know what? It wasn't funny the first 10 times she said it, but now it's caught a second wind. Oh, it's still not that funny. Are they, are they is this a walkout? Are they fine? She is doing the thousand yard stare as well. She's not okay. I don't think it's just alcohol. Frenemies, frenemies, frenemies. It works. It works. Imagine being invited to co-host this show. It, a great business opportunity, great networking, great business opportunity. It's going to be seen. It's going to end up being seen by like a couple million people after you know the first week or whatever. So good promo. You have to represent yourself when you're on these shows. You have to be on your best behavior. But no, she's going to insist on bringing back a show that caused a rift between Hila and her brother. And this rebrand of Moses is amazing, by the way, considering some of the stuff that was uh, alligated about him. <laughs> Not me getting distracted by my stupid little mobile game halfway through. A rift to the point that this woman has never seen her family, newborn family members. It's just, it's dis it's very distasteful. She can't read a room. Um, I don't, I really don't think she's remembered or considered that aspect. Sometimes I forget. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ethan, Ethan by law is like Trisha Paytas's child's uncle. It's weird. Even I forget it sometimes because it is like a very random thing to happen, but she's just showing zero tact. I just know her anxiety is like still kicking in even a whole 24 hours later. Worst kick platform moment presented by XQC. Oh, this show is so, it's so internet. Like, what is this? What's going on? Go. You see this? Wait, I like so your watch, What did man. you say in my DMs? Huh? What did you say in my DMs again? <laughs> okay, Tana, we get it. Everyone wants to bang you. I can't hear you. What she did you say in her DMs? Every two seconds, someone's like, what? Can't hear, can't hear. They need to sort this out. But they can't do it. They can't do shit all about it now. It's past the fact. But for next time, when I am, you know, the only host, I'll do it properly and the mics will all work. Aiden Ross shows porn to his audience. Who are these people doing stupid things? Ice Poseidon pays a prostitute on stream. I I was about to fly out of the room and just try to res resolve everything. What is this pound shop, Mr. Beast? Huh? Kickstaff supports Fousey's mental breakdown. Who are these people? What's going on? That's it. I'm ordering Pizza Hut. You guys remember the, um, the Jersey lawman? Well, he flew out here to perform it live with that. Oh, they get this schmuck all the way from the UK, but they don't get me. I see how it is. Screw it. I'm ordering pizza. Who cares about my good looks when no one else is taking advantage of them? What? Tana Mojo doxes the wine tour guide. I'm I don't want to learn about fertilization of grass in the middle of France in a town of a population uh, of 300 uh, at 8.34 a.m. Not her best moment, huh? I told you she's meaner when she drinks. Who'd have thought it? Never heard of anyone else being mean when they drink or are drinking or whatever. Of course, tennis fans found the business and they started to leave a ton of negative reviews. You put in the the the, the tea bait breaks channel video, not mine. Favoritism on YouTube. Ugh, the way that my mood instantly lightens when I order a pizza. Mm, bad. I'm not going to watch any more of that because I have watched two whole hours of it and I they did. People have said that she does calm down after the 90 minute mark. And I think I've seen that, right? So what are my thoughts? My thoughts are, is it as bad as everyone was making it out to be? I don't, I, I really don't feel like I've watched from afar Tana for a long time. And I, I really feel like she's done worse. I'm not saying that any of this is good. I don't think this is the most obnoxious she's ever been. Is it incredibly distasteful? 
to bring up the you know personal matters for entertainment yes is it really unprofessional to be invited to co-host an internet awards ceremony and turn up drunk possibly mixing it with xanax maybe or something else i don't know yes <laughs> is it the worst thing she's ever done no is it surprising in any way no <laughs> I, it would be more surprising if she took it and herself seriously and did a good job and stayed sober that would be that would be shocking to me if that happened i think she's either going to have bad anxiety right now from all of this or she's going to kid herself and get drunk right now or do some drugs right now as i'm filming this it's still a bit of a difficult one though because i think we are seeing i mean she's admitted that she has substance abuse issues she's admitted it so i'm allowed to say it we are seeing someone with substance abuse issues screw things up in real time so there should be compassion there if she's battling addiction of course and at the same two things can be true at the same time it's very frustrating to see someone be handed so many opportunities and every single time screw them up there's going to come a time when the opportunities don't come anymore and then what are you going to do with yourself so i'm pretty sure that jeff is sober as well and i'm very sure that he when she was doing one of her alcohol free stints i'm very sure that he she said that she was finding things boring and he was like yeah yeah you just have to get used to that and a few people took issue with that <laughs> i don't think these are people that i personally would gel with the people that are like no it's you know being sober is amazing and it's awarded me so many things it does sobriety like i i maintain to this day that if i didn't make that choice to go sober i wouldn't have i'd still be working for other people i wouldn't have my career i wouldn't have my relationships i wouldn't i wouldn't have some friendships especially one of my <laughs> a few of my close friends i would fall out when i was actively using drugs because i was just this obnoxious toxic person to be around it wasn't it wasn't fun it's very embarrassing looking back but am i someone that enjoys sobriety it's hard you're permanently aware it's like you're awake all of the time it feels like being a twilight vampire can't sleep just always aware there's nothing to distract yourself from the mundanity of existence every day and there's this uh neuroscientist I, no i think she's maybe an addiction specialist scientist well addiction is neuroscience i think her name's anna lemke and she went on to andrew huberman's podcast and she talked about she did this episode with him about addiction and how it works in the brain and a lot of addicts are always seeking a super normal experience they find reality boring so they are seeking everything and i think it's just it's a bit of a disaster if you have underdiagnosed adhd as well because that's you know drug use can either come from it comes from a lot of things addiction comes from a lot of things but generally speaking people tend to have trauma and that's kind of where the addiction goes out some i didn't i didn't have childhood trauma i had undiagnosed adhd and so my dopamine seeked and unfortunately a bit of a disaster hence why my drug of choice was always cocaine yeah but she said that unfortunately addicts just need to learn to be okay with like life is boring a lot of the time and you need to just learn to be okay with it and it's hard it's a daily thing it's diff i'm always feeling like do you know what i'd make this do you know i make this better right now for me if i had a line do you know i'd make not maybe not going to the gym better but going out better if i had a line do you know i'd make like i don't know this funeral service brilliant if i had a line <laughs> something that you you just have to get used to it and it's it is difficult and it must be difficult for her to be inside that influencer scene but running away to a different country isn't going to solve her problems because the problems are here not the external though the la influencer scene it can't possibly help well jasma should do it and kind of has stayed on the periphery of the scene but unfortunately when you do decide to get sober you do have to cut off some friendships because ultimately they're not good for you or they're enablers or people want to drag you back down i found that you know you get accused of being boring by some people because you're not mutilating your dna with a toxin no well that's cigarettes cigarettes mutilate your dna you're not decreasing your gray matter with a neurotoxin which is what alcohol is like if you if you actively drink like more than it's something it's ridiculous it's something like more than three units a week you are decreasing your gray matter you're making yourself stupider and i found what's helped me cope is well i have a much better life do i miss the highs and lows at, well, i don't miss the lows but i miss those highs but you can't have the highs without the lows and my life is more stable it's more like a five or six out of ten every single day 
Sometimes it's like a seven or eight, but it's mainly a five or a six. But before it was like a nine followed by a one and it's too it's not sustainable it's too chaotic and i'm sure that at this show she had fun while she was there but i'm sure she's not feeling very fun right now and you need to remember that it's not nice to watch in between the little jabs i just i do feel quite bad for her but i don't think this is severe enough to be some type of wake-up call i really don't think that i don't think this is rock bottom or anything like that how can it be rock bottom she's still getting all these opportunities but if she doesn't be more professional the opportunities will eventually dry up and it is a bit sad that when she has a stints of being alcohol free you can so clearly see the person that she can be she can be very focused and very quick-witted and still be she can still she's still naturally entertaining i think she thinks she needs this party girl wild child image she doesn't it's not kind of but it, it let me just say the thing and then you make the dots to see how my brain went there. It's a bit like Nick Accardo Avocado. He doesn't need to be stuffing his face full of McDonald's and like having those fake fights with All In to be entertaining. He's so naturally entertaining. I always think that he should have been like a musical theatre person. He doesn't need these like extremities of which to like channel the, the energy through. He could just be himself and he still would be popular. He doesn't need to kill himself to get her then same with time because it's i guess essentially like you're kind of seeing someone in a way kill themselves very 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 slowly by mixing drugs and acting this way and i don't claim to know what her daily life is like but i've listened to her podcast i've watched her for a few years i think i can hazard a guess I could kind of talk about this subject for hours, but I won't because I don't want to bore you. That's all for today's video. I'm done. I watched two whole hours of that. Where's my Steamies Award? Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I might just follow you back. I probably won't. I do genuinely hope that Tana Mojo, if she's struggling, she gets help. You know, she does have the resources. She just needs to take it seriously and ask. And that's all really. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.